I've got your note and uh, nice pictures. Mama didn't draw them. I did. No. Uh huh. Those pictures are almost professional. Yeah. Oh, except for that, that uh, little purple squiggle. Amelia was a squiggle. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, speaking of, Amelia is still asleep in her stroller. Scared to move her? Terrified. Who knew a toddler could incite such fear? I know, right? So, uh, what's this all about? It's your surprise picnic! Ta da! Remind me, and I said it all up. Yeah, that, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> you gonna stay here? Oh, no, no, no. You guys go. I gotta go put some clothes on, get to Sawyer, um, you know, get ready to go. But enjoy. Yeah. Just send me a cookie. I make no cookies. <laughs> Fair enough. Good luck. Thanks. I can use all the luck I can get. See you guys. See ya. <laughs> so, uh, what's in Sawyer? A, uh, a campaign event. Oh. So it begins. Yeah, I feel bad. Drew's worried that no one will show up. Mommy, come see the minnows in the lake. Excuse me, I'm being summoned. How could you resist? <laughs> minnows? No way. I don't believe you. Look. <gasps> I was wrong. You were right. Those are 100% minnows. Thank you. <gasps> I, uh, I'm gonna need a favor. Please tell me I'm overreacting. I can't. Perez Hilton says, speaking of bumps, congratulations. And what does Christina say? Not, oh, it isn't mine. I'm the surrogate for my sister. Or I'll tell my sister you said so. The baby is hers. No, no, no. Christina says thank you. And that it's a part of their lives. They would like to keep private their lives. Christina and Blaze, this this perfect couple committed to each other and the baby Christina's carrying. So I'm not crazy. Christina just claimed our child on live television. Can you call me from wherever you're going? I mean, like every day or anything, but every once in a while. I can't. I'm sorry. But I'll be thinking about you the whole time. And I'll do my best to get back as soon as I can. Okay. I hate this too. So, you already did this. I don't want to do it again. I know. I mean, but at least we get to say goodbye this time. Even though you won't know where I am. You'll know that I'll be out there. This is better than nothing. I just need you to understand this. This isn't my choice. Then whose choice is it? You're kicking me out. I'm evicting you, yeah. Why, did somebody file a complaint? No. Then on what grounds are you kicking me out? I'm the co-owner of this hotel, and as such, I have the right to refuse service to anyone I like or hate in this instance. I thought we were friends. Yeah, not so much. Is she kicking him out of the hotel? She sure is. You know what you should do? What's that? Call your buddy Jason. You need to keep his name out of your mouth. I mean this as legitimate advice. Tell Jason the situation. I am confident he will tell you to accommodate me. You don't speak for Jason. You would be surprised. As of this moment, Agent Cates, you have no leverage over Jason. None. Zero. I don't know what that means. Yes, you do. You think you can charge me with RICO violations? Prove that I'm some big, bad mob boss? Well, here I am, Agent Cates. Come and get me. <laughs>